<laughs> what I'm doing Not you. <laughs> is I'm answering some questions from our viewers. So now, bro, <laughs> the microphone. But we've had, some, we've had some questions about whether it's safe to be able to park up. To sleep. Well, yeah, to sleep. Where you park up, um, how you find your places. Is it better to be on a campsite? So can you answer all of these questions? Oh, that's a lot of questions for me. I'm trying to have my coffee. <laughs> um, I think the best thing to do is probably in this episode to take them through a journey of absolute, like a step by step of how we do that. So that you guys get a feel of how we do it, how we find a park up and answer all those questions for you, basically. So no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> but first, we're in the Northumberland coast and we need to check it out. So keep watching. <laughs> seen this place called Northumberlandia uh, I don't know what it is it just looks really cool it's like a big maze thing so we're just gonna go check that out uh, this is what we could do with a drone by the looks of it which we haven't yet got so I'm gonna try and get up on a hill somewhere and uh, show you it hopefully hey darling can I tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light So we're here at North Northumberlandia now. <laughs> it's a real mouthful, like, isn't it? Isn't it? Um, and I've just been reading about it, and apparently it's um, the world's largest human landform, um, created by Charles Jenks, and it's designed um, in line with all the hills around it and everything um, to represent the human, um, the female human form. So as you walk around it, you're meant to be able to sort of see all the curves of the female human body and stuff. So it's really interesting, I think. It feels a bit wrong, doesn't it? Because um, I think I think these bits here that I'm walking through the middle of may be the female voluptuous part. <laughs> <laughs> And all the water is designed to like um, reflect as well all the curves of the landscape. It looks nice how it's all frozen as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? So this is how cold it is. It's just like uh, all frozen, but during movement by the looks of it. Properly cold. Three pairs of socks on today. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to So that was really good, wasn't it? I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah I really did. good, really it's, nice. It's amazing how like they've made these like almost sculptures out of the uh out of the landscape it's really quite cool isn't it yeah it comes from uh, it's like coal mining here basically um but it's surface mining so once they've mined what they want to then they sort of regenerate that area and make it into like a nature reserve and then they move on to the next bit so it's like really eco-friendly as well yeah i don't think i'm quite artistic enough to really appreciate it fully but <laughs> <laughs> i did recognize a hand as i'm yeah. working around but other than that they've got yeah. like they've got a little, they've got a little cafe here as well it's free to come in and it'd be brilliant for like a picnic or something summer so this is what van life is all about really just finding new places checking out places you come across along the way exploring them um, new adventure of it, yeah, isn't it? all from the comfort of roaming of the van yeah she takes us everywhere bless her so we're not quite sure where we're going next we're just sort of uh, wandering about as usual <laughs> checking out the uh, northumberland coast um, so we're just going to head down here and see what's down here uh, I have a major freak out when Reese tries to make me plan anything. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this one's good. And I was like, no, let's just wander about. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the night. Of... Right, I'm not making this up. There's a castle there. <laughs> <laughs> That'll only be funny if you've seen it a few episodes ago when we were up in the Yorkshire Dales. And we start talking about castles and how many castles. And there's one right in front of us. <laughs> Daisy, do you want to go see another castle? <laughs> do you want to go to another castle? Shall we go have a look? So anybody wondering how we go to the toilet, where we go to the toilet when we're on the road? 
they're everywhere like literally all over public toilets um so yeah just uh, that one another question we had this is the castle baby don't you understand that we only get one life i want to make it count honey come on now and take my hand oh, hey darling i love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of so Emma's just gone back to the uh, van to make some lunch because uh, it's actually £9 each to come in here. Um, so, uh, so I'm just going to uh, have a wander around and get some uh, get some filming of it, really. It's a really, really cool place. Uh, and then we'll catch up with Emma in a bit. Let's have a look inside. To be honest, I would uh, I'd say this is well well worth it. It's absolutely amazing. This just uh, you can literally wander around it. It's probably one of the best castles I've ever been to. Absolutely amazing. Check that out. Let's have a wander through here. All these little uh, cool staircases. Would have been the wine cellar. No wine in it today, it's a shame. So I'll look up here. I'm definitely gonna get lost in here. I'm actually quite lost without Emma. There's nobody to uh, bounce off with and have a laugh. So this castle uh, was built in the uh, in the 1400s. Um, it's had a bit of restoration work done to it apparently. Um, but it's uh, it's super cool. Could check outside. Amazing place. So that was uh, that part of it. And then out here you've got like all the uh, remaining ruins that are still in really sort of good, good condition. It's amazing. See, Emma would be telling you all about this now. That's where I just keep saying how cool it is. <laughs> so I'm heading back to the van now. Uh, yeah, it just uh, that were awesome, but it just wasn't, wasn't the same. And I liked Emma to uh, come in really. Um, just shows you've done it that like it can be the coolest castle in the world, but if you're not having a laugh with the uh, the person you love, it's not the same. Let's see what she's doing. situation why because i haven't checked whether apparently you need to as well as paying to get in it looks like you need to pay to park. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a look at that hello you so that will walk with castle uh nine quid plus three pound parking uh is it worth it yeah i'd probably say it is actually it's time for a bit of dinner now. I'm having tomato soup. Daisy wants some more dinner even though she's had her dinner. And yeah. And Emma's having leek <laughs> soup. I love soup though on a cold day. It's right warm in here. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Can't beat a bit of soup with a bit of bread. Stars are bright. Pack our bags and get in that car. So we thought we'd just give you a few tips and hints. Um, some are rules, some are just etiquette really um, about sleeping in your van um, and what you need to do. Probably the main thing is if there's a sign saying don't park up, 
don't know it, do you? <laughs> yeah, don't sort of park where it says don't park, you know, it's the first one really. There's plenty of places to park up without paying. I know that sounds like a really obvious thing, but honestly, the amount of people that we see that sort of say, oh, well, we'll just risk it for tonight and, you know, and it's just not a good idea because all that happens is that you end up where everywhere becomes really strict and lots of places will just end up with barriers across them to stop you getting in, you know. The thing I suppose is um, try if you can park out in the middle of nowhere, like off the beaten track a little bit. Um, sometimes that's not possible, is it, if you're in cities and stuff? No, but if you're in a city, try and park. So we never park in front of anybody's house. We no. stay as far away from houses as we possibly can. So most of the time we're off into the wild, you know, and if we do need to park up in a city, just find a quiet back street, somewhere where you're not disturbing other people. And, you know, I mean, we prefer to be off like in nature anyway. Um, which is one of the reasons we don't stay on campsite. Another thing is sort of, um, you know, just like keep a place clean and tidy as well. Um, you know, if when you arrive, don't leave any rubbish, obviously your own rubbish, don't leave anything like that. But if there is rubbish there anyway, then, you know, we take a litter picker with us, don't we? And we yeah, we always leave it, and... leave it cleaner than when you found it, basically, you know, because you're helping the environment as well, you're helping the little animals and, you know, and it's, it's, it's giving you know van lifers and travellers a good name as yeah, well when you do that. Definitely, like. definitely. Um, so stay tuned. We'll give you some more tips as well, um, and we'll share with you uh, our experience over the last sort of ten years. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. So we're just uh, going for a bit of a walk along the uh, coastal path. Taking Daisy for a walk before we uh, go find a park up, uh, and then once we start looking for a park up, we'll uh, we'll talk you through it all. Then show you where we park up, and uh, yeah, give you some more tips on how to do it. Stay tuned. We're just going to uh, see what's down here. One thing uh, you do need to do when you're doing van life in winter is make sure you wrap up warm. So we've both got about three layers each on under us coats. <laughs> I think I've got about six to Six, Emma's got. Um, but that just means you can crack on and uh, keep exploring really, you know. A lot of people, it sort of puts them off, doesn't it, a little bit yeah. when they're doing van life in UK in winter. Um, and they sort of uh, tend to stay in the vans a lot, but some warm gloves, scarves, And coats. I like to wear my normal clothes, so I just like, I don't like to wear just woolly jumpers and stuff, so I put loads of layers on, don't I? I've yeah. Told you so I can still wear the same stuff. <laughs> so we've uh, just come for a walk along the coast, um, and we've come across this little area here, it's really overgrown now there's some uh, sort of signs and what have you to tell you what it's about and i don't know if you can tell but there's like a circle here um and a little doorway here to go in i'm a bit scared in case i step in it <laughs> <laughs> fall seven meters downward um but it's um the howick excavation site um apparently in 2000 to 2002 um, a university did like a, a an excavation dig sort of thing um, and they found this sort of hut um, and it dates back to 8000 BC um, and it had like a lowered floor um, and they basically they did um, some, oh, what do they call it now where they do um, excavation? No, no, carbon dating, that's oh. it, carbon dating, <laughs> sorry my brain don't remember all the time but they did this carbon dating and they found that over hundreds of years, um, there would have been um, families living in it. So they, they sort of dated back families to be living here hundreds and hundreds of years after each other. So there's like five graves that they found as well, which is somewhere in here. We're probably standing on them, unfortunately, because um, it's overgrown. But they dated them back to be in 2000 BC. Um, and when they dug them up, um, they found inside that they were, they've been buried with like goods to take forward into the next life so it's proof that like 2000 bc they believed in there being afterlife basically is what they're saying um so that's quite interesting i don't know if i really agree with them digging them up i don't know if i really kind of agree with that but um but yeah that's what they found here so it's great it's really interesting 
So that were a nice uh, brisk walk, nice refreshing walk, wasn't it? Along the, uh, <laughs> it was a bit muddy, yeah. Um, so we're now just going to look for a park up. Um, sometimes we kind of just come across places that we can sleep. Um, and other times we use an app called Park for Nights. That's what we're going to do tonight. Uh, Emma's going to have a look and then we will see where we end up for the evening. So we've arrived at our park up now, um, really easy to find um, and we're parked right next to the sea so we can't see it yet because it's pitch black so that's one of the things <laughs> that we kind of make sure we do is arrive late and leave early um, and then we're not disturbing anybody um, but I imagine that's going to be absolutely beautiful in the morning so keep watching and we'll show you that. Um, it's a nice spot, there's a couple of other vans parked down the road, we're going to uh, get a brew now, I think we're going to go for a walk. So Emma, is there anything else you reckon we need to uh, tell him about it? Um, I suppose, I, I think it's worth mentioning safety-wise um, and precautions you can take. But they are just precautions and I don't want anybody to sort of feel like it's, oh, but this can happen and that can happen. Because actually we've been doing this 10 years and we've never once been moved, have we? No. Nope. Never had a knock on the door, nothing. Um, and we've only ever stayed in a campsite, I think, probably once. Mm. And that's about it. So in the, in the whole of, well, over 10 years now. Um, and we've travelled across Europe and across the UK and, you know, we've never had any problems. But I do think it's worth mentioning that we have like a doorway to go into the front of the van. Um, we don't use it regular as to go back and forth, but it is like an emergency passageway if we need it. So if anything happens, we, you know, outside, we get any trouble, we can just jump straight into the front of the van and drive off. Um, I know sometimes people have outside screen covers on the front of the van. Sometimes they have outside wheel clamps on the wheels. I won't, I won't do that personally, especially if you, it's when you go to bed, because if you do need to take off, you're going to have to get out of your van to remove all that stuff before you can drive away. So I won't do that. Um, but other than that, I don't think really that there's any other safety precautions we take is that that's just no. and that is just for just in case yeah that's you know. never ever ever happened to us that's yeah. just a, a a worst case situation just that we're prepared go for, for it i think is what i'd say just go for it if you've got a, you've got a van or you're thinking about getting one and you're wanting to try it just go for it but just make sure that you follow those like etiquette things that's what i'd say So we're just about to uh, go into this uh, little pub now, the Castle Inn. Uh, we've left Roman of the van down the road. Uh, we always like to uh, spend in local towns, don't we? Yeah, yeah, I think that's another thing you can do. Um, yeah, just definitely. Sort of spend a little bit of money wherever you're stopping. Yeah. Um, but it's lovely. You can smell like the fires burning, can't you? Open fires, it's yeah, beautiful. It's Morning guys, we had a really good night's sleep last night. Yeah, we did, morning. <laughs> really, really quiet. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at that view. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> that looks a lot better in day, doesn't it? So I'm just uh, taking Daisy for a morning walk um if we've missed anything or you've got any questions or whatever just uh, drop us a comment and we'll do our best to answer anything that you've got any questions you've got um so yeah do that and obviously if you're enjoying this channel um and you want to be notified of the next episode make sure you subscribe and just click the little bell and that'll let you know when our next episode are on and it massively helps the channel as well so this were uh this were bambra uh, on the northumberland coast and the locals are just absolutely lovely here uh, really really welcoming sort of telling them what we were doing and stuff and thought it was great and yeah you know it's just about kind of doing it respectfully making sure the place is tidier when you leave than when you found it and uh, just being respectful basically of the environment and nature and the local people so yeah that's basically how we uh, how we sleep some people might call it a park up or finding a spot or wild camping it's not really wild camping is it because it's not a tent um, we just call it sleeping in his vehicle, um, you know, and finding a, a place to sleep for the night. Um, and it's just like his campsites. If you were on, you know, like 
when we're on the road a long time, it couldn't get really expensive, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it adds up. And there's no wrong in, in going in campsites. No, um, as we've said. And there's also airs around as well that you can use. Loads um, of different spots, yeah, places, pubs. pubs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can often just go in and have a drink in, a, you know, in certain pubs and they'll let you stay in, in the car parks. Some of them even have hook up, don't they? Yeah. So there's loads of options. I think the message we're just trying to get across is give it a go because it's, you know, it's not difficult and if if anything, if you go away today just feeling a little bit inspired to maybe give it a go and look at some vans or if you've got a van and you've been scared of sort of going out there and not using a campsite, then hopefully we've inspired you a little bit to maybe just think outside the box. What is it you always say? Dare to? Dare to do. <laughs> People say dare to dream, but I say dare to do. Let's do it. <laughs> we'll catch you next time, guys.